name is Travon Swain and I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina and I've had my kidney transplant for a little under a year. From the beginning of having hypertension and being overweight, I was very non-compliant. I was angry and um, I had all these questions and all these thoughts going through my head about who thought it was and how I ended up here. So that was a huge red flag um, that I hadn't always been responsible with my own health. Um, the transplant center did inform me that you can be taken off the list or removed from the list if you're not compliant, if you're not going to treatment, if you're getting off the machine early, if your lab work is not good. Once you do the workup and all your lab work comes back good and you get on the list, you have a responsibility to stay on top of these things, to stay on the list. I always took all of my medications when I was on the transplant list. I became very compliant. I went to all my specialist appointments and I did all my lab work. I never missed any um, transplant appointments. The things I struggled with the most when I was on the list was um, my eating habits. I am a foodie and <laughs> I do love a lot of the foods that I wasn't supposed to have. And then I had a revelation that I needed to take ownership for my own life. I was going through a divorce and I um, had left that part out. I just kept saying, yeah, I have this great husband. I have all the support at home. I had to become completely honest and tell her where I was in my journey and what was going on in my personal life and that um, my children were older now and that my children can help support me and take care of me through this time. It was very difficult to tell my social worker the truth, but I trusted that if I um, be honest and um, be sincere, that they would come through. She said, okay we can continue to move forward. So it was definitely a blessing. The journey was not always easy, but it was definitely worth it. Um, kidney transplant is a hundred times better than dialysis. <music>